in this video I'll show you how you can log into your accelerated reader and take a quiz so when you navigate to the accelerated reader website you will choose the option to log in as a student your login details then will be the same as your T Microsoft Teams login except for one small detail um, if we look at the username here it'll be the first half of your username so for example if I type in john.smith.21 I leave off the at portleashcbs.com and that is my username and then your password then is your just your regular password for your office 365 account once we press login then we're brought to the accelerated reader homepage. So from here, there's a couple of options available to us. The first is a star reading assessment. You would have done this in class under supervision, so we just ignore that button. And then we'll go to the accelerated reader option. Once we click into the accelerated reader option, you will be brought to your own personal landing page. This is where you can find your book and take your quiz and check your progress. You can see uh, there's a progress option and there's a bookshelf option up the top there to add books to yourself. But if I want to find a book, I will click into the search bar here. And I will enter in a, a book title. So for example, I'm just going to search in Harry Potter. So once I press this search button, it'll bring up all the relevant titles. Now say I've read Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and I want to take a quiz on that. I'll move over to the option to take a quiz. So I click on this. It'll bring me to a new page. And on this page, there's a couple of options I need to check before I start my quiz. The first of these is that we're taking a reading practice quiz. So we always take that one. And then I want to choose how we read the book. So for example, if I read the book by myself, I'm going to choose that option and I'm going to click start quiz. Now the length of the quiz will depend on its accelerated reader level. So this book has a level of 6.7, so it's quite high. There will probably be 20 questions. So if I get all of these 20 questions right, I will get full points, which is 14 points available for this book. So you can see there's multiple choice questions presented to us here.